What it do? It's your boy Sounds Great. I'm from Augusta, Georgia. Came here to Columbia to represent. How y'all doing today? What's going on, Kev? Hey, not man. What's good with you? Hey, man. I just came to spread the word of everything I got going on with the people in Columbia because I'm here for the indie artists. Word. Hey. We appreciate that, man. You know, we need more support for the indie artists, man, especially in the Carolina, Georgia area, man. No doubt, no doubt. Yeah, so, you know, let's start out, you know, talking about, you know, you, you know, where you're from. Originally, I'm from Birmingham, moved around military, and I eventually joined the military. And when I got out, um, of course, I had the career and everything, but my passion was in music. So I pretty much stopped everything and just pursued my, pursued my passion. Okay. I mean, and, and, and why is music your passion? You know, what, what got you started into music? My pops, actually. I okay. grew up around it, you know, vinyls, CDs, cassettes, the eight tracks, just bumping music all day. So I'm, I'm a gener I'm a, a product of the old school. All right. I mean, so I kind of have an attitude, just like new people, like what's this mumble stuff, you know? So I grew up with the KRS ones, the the. Uh, Public Enemy, all that. So that's that's me. So I love music. I, I respect it to death. Okay. Right. Actually, I'm a singer. Okay. So D'Angelo is like my favorite artist. So I studied his music and and then studied the people who influenced him. So Prince, Michael. I I keep going for days, but um, I'm actually a singer. So I I love to sing, but I'm a singer that raps. So I like to use both things. My favorite rapper is Busta Rhymes. So you can hear that a lot of my style. Okay. But I'm in the lab cooking up some new stuff now. Okay, and, and why bust around me? Because you don't hear a lot of people usually say bust around. You really get that. I mean, he's probably one of the pioneers. Well, he is one of the pioneers too. You know, leaders in the new school. And he busted out and did his own thing. There's a lot of East Coast. You know what I mean? Hip hop started from New York. The East Coast rap and everything. And I just, his style, he's real, but he's goofy at the same time. Dude beats your ass in a minute, then he'd be goofy laughing about the other, and the animation he has and his music videos. It's just he's being himself. And I respect that to the core. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about you know, the scene in your area down in Augusta. How, how's the scene down in Augusta? True. It's, it's cutthroat over there. Okay, well, I mean, cutthroat like how? You wouldn't think, but um, it's clicky. And. From the outside looking in on me being an artist, then me being a filmmaker, me being a photographer, the graphic guy, I see from every angle and me having a record label. I see from all angles. So I, I talk to the promoters, I talk to the club owners, I talk to the artists, I talk to the DJs. So I see it from every angle. So that's why I say it's clicky because after a while you can start to notice a pattern on who's on top, you know. So I'm trying to get in that and mix it up. Have you got any love down there? I mean, what's, what's, what's the respect level for Sounds Great? My respect level of Sounds Great is none. My respect level as the cameraman, the filmmaker, I get mad love. You know what I mean? Okay, but why not Sounds Great, the, the artist? I don't, I don't do music in my city. Okay. I frequent either here in Columbia or Atlanta. You know, I have mad love in Sweden. That's crazy. I got right. I got fans in Australia, so I try to go where my fan base is. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm working to get in there in Augusta, but it's not it's not a goal for me. You know, it's more global than local. Okay. So I mean, let's talk about albums. How many albums have you uh, dropped? So far, I have one album. It was actually EP. Okay. Swan Boat to EP. You can find it on Tidal, iTunes, Spotify, all that good stuff. You know, um, I don't use CD Baby or TuneCore. Um, I've got a few features with Polo Don Red, um, Naya Music, a lot of singers. But most of my work is film. So, yeah. Okay. So on on the film, your film uh, work, like, who have you worked with? I've worked with Polo Don Red. I've worked with, um, God, I'm so short the name. She actually from here, Columbia. Uh, Miss Too Pretty. Okay. I've worked with Miss Too Pretty. I've worked with Tess, Tessalini. Mm -hmm. 
Um, there's a group in Atlanta, uh, RMG893. I work with them. Um, there's a group called All The Way Live. I've made like seven or eight videos this year. Of course, from either music videos or interviews. So I've, I've interviewed lots of people. Okay, any movies? I'm actually working on a movie right now. Okay. Yeah, it's called The Struggle. The Struggle. It's chicken between The Struggle and The Come Up. But it's pretty much going to be featuring all the indie artists I work with. Okay. So from promoters to club owners to DJs, everybody from here, Atlanta.